Okay, well, in my last video, we introduced the concept of a NeoPixel. Uh, this is a NeoPixel here, a WS2818. Uh, the NeoPixel is the little white package there, 5mm square by 5mm and only 2mm thick. And it contains a red, green and blue LED and also the control circuitry so that we can daisy chain a load of them together and vary the brightness and so on. Uh, Neopixels come in all sorts of different packages. This one is on a strip and it was cut from a long piece of strip. And what I'm doing is building a 12 by 12 array of ping pong balls. This is just two test ones. Uh, each one is going to have its own Neopixel. So there are two ways to mount these. One is that you can take a ping pong ball and cut a hole in it and mount the Neopixel inside the ball. And then the other one is just, the easier one would be to just hot glue the near pixel to the outside of the ball, which would make everyone's lives a lot simpler. But I thought I'd give it a whirl, just to see which one was best. So there we've got two of these little strips. One's soldered, one's mounted to the near pixel is inside the ball. This one's got the near pixel attached outside the ball, and the daisy chain together. And we're using an Arduino micro to drive both of them with exactly the same colour. So this is what happened when I powered it up and I think through the camera this will look, the, the, these will look pretty much identical and at first I tried to persuade myself that's the way they look to my eye but I asked my son Joseph and my wife Gina and they both said that this one was better and when you look at it from a slight distance, I don't know if it's uh, visible through the camera it really is, it's a lot smoother and it's just that hair brighter. So that's the one we're going to go with for the 12x12 array. So next video we'll start looking at the array itself.